We're just asking for our fair share so we can survive. How they plead poverty, that they're losing money left and right. It will have a very, very damaging effect on the whole business. When giving hundreds of millions of dollars to their CEOs. It's like these people haven't seen f***ing succession. We still have a ways to go with the offer they put on the table last night. What's about you? Put that in your morning coffee, Mary oh. Bearer. Many people have asked me, when will this strike end? It can end today. There's a level of expectation that they have that is just not realistic. We've got a message for Mr. Iger. They are adding to a set of challenges that this business is already facing. Listen to us when we tell you we will not be having our jobs taken away and giving to robots. Without the writers, we're nothing. They create the stories that make our hearts beat. What do we want? Contract. When do we want it? Now. And if we don't get it, we put our lives on the line. Wall Street didn't build the country. The middle class built the country. The only thing we're asking for is to give us a piece of the pie. We are not leaving the table until we get a full plate and our fair share. What we know about AI and algorithms is that they're biased. And you know who's creating these biases? Boring white men. The mother who said we're going to keep this thing going until people start losing their houses and their apartments. We've all done all of the work to strive to get to this place. You wish that families starve while you're making 27 million dollars a year for creating nothing. They don't seem to think that we're valuable at all. They want to call them family when it's easy. They haven't been there, they haven't taken care of their workers. This company has made 100 billion dollars and they've rewarded high-level management people. These are high-paying, great jobs. Who have never touched a package. That's important to keep in mind. Now it's time to reward the people that touch those packages. Are you aware that NLRB judges have ruled that Starbucks violated federal labor law over 100 times during the past 18 months, far more than any other corporation in America? Sir, Starbucks Coffee Company unequivocally, and let me set the tone for this very early on, has not broken the law. You share the wealth because you cannot exist without us.